Hi there and welcome back. Today we're looking at tracking windows through obstructions and fixing general tracking issues. In this clip I have a couple of cyclists who run through the intersection and both pass behind this traffic sign. I'm going to begin by tracking the cyclist at the back. I'm going to create a serial node and drop in an ellipse to select the cyclist. Cool. Go back into the tracking window and track forward. Good. And then I can stop. And just like previously, I can find the bit where the tracker gets lost. Select and delete everything after that point. Go into frame mode and click on the window. And then move off the cyclist and try to estimate their movement off the screen. So that's pretty good. All right, that gets her out. And then I'll go to the point from which I started tracking and track backwards. Ah, and there we go. It immediately loses itself when she crosses behind the pole. So I'm going to select this section, delete those keyframes. Still in frame mode, I am going to drop a keyframe by clicking on the window Go back until she's trackable again and grab and drop the window in exactly the same spot and then keep tracking backwards. Excellent! That was pretty good, that even took her off the screen. So now I've got this really good track on her. I'm going to apply a fairly extreme grade, not for it to look realistic, uh, but just because I purposely want something that will interfere with this sign. I'm going to use the qualifier to select her coat and look at it inside of my matte preview. And you can see the coat gets selected pretty well, but we also get the arrow sign. Don't you just hate it when you're trying to show people how to fix something and the software works too well for you to be able to do that? Yeah, I'm trying to keep the sign and get rid of this and <laughs> that's what's happening. Uh, but yeah, let's say this was as clean as we could get it, because I really do want to focus on removing obstructing objects. Uh, so now I'll be able to change the color of her coat and a few other things, and that's going to result in the sign getting affected as well. If I go back and play it forward, you'll see as she passes in front of the sign, that causes a huge issue. And I can't just go into my window palette and drop another circle here because the camera is moving too. So we're going to have to perform another track, and this time we're not focusing on the object, but on the movement of the camera. Or in this case, the object will be the street sign. So I'm going to make another ellipse, going to place it right in the center, bring it all the way down, not bother with the feathering too much, but maybe expand the size. There we go. And I should probably label these so I can remember which one's which. Uh, so that will be the coat, and that will be the sign. And I want to make the sign exclusive, so I'm going to click on the mask tool. But that's still not enough. The sign's not moving with the camera. So I'll go into my track tool, and I'll track it backwards. And in fact, I can stop because I don't need this much tracking data. I only need it to be active when the lady's passing in front of it. And then I can track backwards as well. That's it. As long as this section here was clean, then I'm happy. And because I've made it exclusive, it's now removing the grade that was spilling out on top of it. So that's how you work with exclusions. You sometimes have to track your windows separately and then either invert them or use the mask tool to subtract one from the other. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.